Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I welcome this announcement. And uh, the, the Independent Commission on Climate Change uh, recognises that we're going to need unabated gas uh, in the electricity uh, market right up until 2035 and beyond. And more widely, that even in 2050, 25% of our energy needs will come from hydrocarbons. So does the um, Right Honourable uh, Member agree with me that this is exactly the right way to maintain lower energy production costs while still meeting our net zero targets. I do agree with my uh, honourable friend. So the point is to have a, a wide uh, range of backup capacity, but not to use it very much with fossil fuels and to look to, uh, as I think um, uh, has long been the case, that uh, uh, any new gas um, uh, generation should be um, uh, carbon capture ready and we look forward to it being hydrogen ready as well and we are in a very similar position to Germany and other countries who are looking at exactly this. And I think both Germany and Ireland for instance as part of their growth of renewables recognise the need for gas albeit used less and less but having it there to ensure the lights stay on and we have appropriate insurance in place.